Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy and let's get started with our Q&A. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please do because that's where you can see all my outfits. That's also where I ask you guys for my Q&A questions. Okay, first question by a forever fashion lover. Which handbags, which handbags out of your collection is your most and least carried? So I will share two of each for you. Most recently, the most carried for me personally are these two. Oh my goodness, one of my favorite. I highly recommend it. This is the 18 size picotin. And I have mine in black color, palladium hardware, but mine also has exotic skin. So this is um, called the picotin touch and I just simply love it. It's super roomy. I have my organizer there, my trusted Samorga, and I just, oh, this bag is so good. You can throw anything in there. You don't have to organize if it's everything I possibly need. Whenever I don't wanna downsize or just play Tetris with my handbags, this is the one that I grab, and I just absolutely, absolutely love it. I love the touch version because it keeps its structure really good for the top handle part, and the organizer does the rest, and I'm just so happy with it. I'm so glad that I got this one, and I'm a big, big fan of the Picotin Touch especially. I would I would gladly get a second, third, whatever ones <laughs> in different colors, but the black is just extra special and just so classic. And the next one that I use the most, or not the next one, but the other bag that I also use the most, depending on where I go and depending where what I need, I suppose, is this one. Surprisingly, this is a Chanel micro bag. This one was from the 21K collection. So it is the one with the magnetic closure. The first time they came out with this was the snap button closure. They're both the same size and same uh, lambskin leather and all with a chain and a little top handle. This is literally the best, best purchase of last year. I'm not kidding you guys. I love it when I just, Really don't need much, but I still need my ID and my lip balm, hand sanitizer. This will fit all of that. Of course, it will fit my keys, just not my phone. Yesterday, we went to the Billie Eilish concert. Yeah, we went as a family and I was thinking, what bags do I want to carry? Because I don't really want to have such a bulky bag with me and I don't want to have to hold it because I know we'll be standing a lot, like the concert will be kind of crazy. But anyway, it's not just for concert, I actually carry this bag quite often even for shopping for running errands my least used ones and i love these bags but i just don't use them very often is of course the lady dior it is not an everyday bag it's definitely more of my evening bag so therefore um it is my least use but i don't mind it it's just that it's not an everyday bag right it's really an occasional bag this is my only celine bag the Celine Trapeze, which I got a long time ago and it is still in amazing, amazing shape. I would say near perfect. For such a large bag, it is quite lightweight, but it is one of my least used because it is quite large and I honestly don't need a large bag very often. I think every time I used this bag, I was either on a road trip. Overjoyed. Hi, Joe. What bag from the Chanel archives would you like to bring back? The first one I would love them to bring back is this one it's basically their vintage style square mini the square mini back then is a little bit more rectangular and it's also a larger size and i love the fact that i think even some iterations had the four grommets correct me if i'm wrong but i think there were some iterations where there were four grommets so you can double up the chain and wear it as a um, shorter shoulder bag and I just love the vintage style with the flatter quilt in lambskin. It just looks so good. The other one is in a very similar vein, but the jumbo size. So this is one example of it. It's just a single flap, which is amazing because single flaps are so much lighter. Um, I love the fact that the vintage lambskins preserve and look still very, very good after so many years. So that kind of jumbo size um, classic flap with the jumbo CC turn lock. I think these two, the mini one and this one, if they were to bring it back, it would do so, so well. Even though I said that large bags are not my jam, but if it was a single flap, if it was like 
like this and oh 24 karat gold especially plated oh my goodness judy zoo updated hermes wishlist bags plus pre-spent items this is a very hard for me to answer questions especially for pre-spent items because for me it's more like whatever is new at Hermes that catches my eye or that I need at that particular time. But I guess as of today, right, there is ready to wear that's always on my mind. I mean, it just depends on what is in stock because what I see online or even uh, internationally in other countries, what other people buy may not be available when I go. So it really just depends on the stock and availability and if it's in my sizing and if it fits me when I get there and try it. Uh, aside from that, there is a ton of jewelry I'm interested. I did put a deposit for some jewelry pieces since January so stay tuned for that for sure. Um, a lot of these jewelry pieces or a lot of anything actually is often not in stock and you have to either commit to the item by putting a full deposit and just wait for the item to arrive or you just you know be there at the right time at the right place and I just do a combination of that. Aside from that I'm always on the lookout for shoes. Um, more sandals because I love shoes where I can just slip on. I would love to get my hands on some non-quota bags, which I heard nowadays is even harder than quota bags. They are just as rare and even for regular loyal customers, they are just as hard to get. I wouldn't mind a mini Lindy. I wouldn't mind the Della Cavalleria. I wouldn't mind the 2424 in the mini size. I, I would love to try it at least and see if I like it. Dimple Face 25, do you carry your luxury bags to work? If so, which ones are your work bags? Um, so it's pretty simple. It, my answer is no. Luxury bags are not really meant to be work bags because depending on your line of work, especially um, if you have to carry a laptop, which I would have to, uh, laptops, especially work laptops sometimes are so heavy and there's all the equipments. So I would not really use my luxury bags. I think my best luxury bags for that is my Neverfull, which I, I mean, I wouldn't. I, I tried a couple times just to bring my laptops around my Neverfulls and I just don't like it. So uh, no, actually I don't. I personally always just recommend it buying a good um, briefcase and it can be any brand. It doesn't have to be luxury, but it can be a nicer uh, brand that specializes in briefcases. And there's just so many of them. My Lizzie will you get a Celine bag? Well, I do have one. I just showed you guys earlier my Celine trapeze. Will I get another one? I don't want to say no because you just never know what happens in the future. I will say that um, just knowing myself and just looking at my collection, unless a bag is so extra special and unique. Just to give you an example, this bag um, it's from Prada, and I'm not particularly um, a Prada fan, but I'm not a non-fan. I just don't really buy any other brands aside from um, the big three, usually. I just I just know myself. I, I just wouldn't, wouldn't really reach for them. I tried that before. I dabbled into different brands, and I had fun with them, and they served their purpose at the time, but um, I just feel like my core collection that I tend to really just always love for a long time as well as reach for is usually Chanel for sure um, and recently has been this bag so it's always sort of like that core collection that I uh, and the core brands that I am familiar and, and trust and I know that I will love for a long time but this bag was so special and nobody really makes this this, this kind of like really sparkly um, so glamorous kind of bag and even the shape I mean the shape there are many companies that does similar shape but I don't have anything like this so this was sort of like a one-off exception that I thought was a good choice for me to add because it's so different and it wasn't breaking the bank either it was sort of more affordable on the price range even though the material is really all man-made material but um, you know what I mean so I would only make one-off exceptions like this so at the moment I don't really see any Celine bags that I'm like really into except maybe the Triomphe. I like that bag but is it so special that I, I really need to get it? I don't feel that urge yet um, and if anything I 
If anything, I might try to get my hands on the 18 Constance if I could. I know that is a quota bag here, so that won't be for a while. So it just depends on if um, my urge is so strong that I needed to get it to try it ahead of time to see if that shape or that style fits me. I'm sure it does because it's a mini bag, it's a crossbody, it looks good. Um, but at the moment, yeah, aside from Triomphe, I don't think there is anything that is like so mind-blowing that I need to get right away. Jasmine Ball 33 what are your thoughts on the Hermes 2424 mini? And how's your journey going? Okay, going good. Um, I will say, I mean, I do follow uh, a lot of the purse forums and I do kind of read up on how others are doing also in Vancouver. And I think everyone's about the same. They are always waiting for their pre-order items, like the pre-spent items. And the wait seems to be a one quarter bag per 18 months type of situation so um, I feel like I'm just the same as everyone so I would say it's doing w good I, I think I have a good relationship with my essay and I uh, I have a lot of joy visiting every time I go and I I am frustrated about the low stock a lot but at the same time it's nobody's fault really and everyone's going through it so I'm just really trying to enjoy my journey as, pos as much as possible and just enjoy the things that I do buy that I um, do like when I shop those items. So it is going well. In terms of the 2424, I like it. Mini size would be the only size I would ever consider because any larger will, well, first of all, looks heavy. I also don't like that the strap on the 2424, um, so just to give you an example, is right on like the leather part. So see my trapeze, this is my trapeze Celine, right? Um, like the strap hooks onto right in the middle of the leather part and for me if it's a bigger size it will pull it feels like it will pull from that part of the the leather and it probably won't be I probably wouldn't like it I don't know they probably thought about it it's probably fine I'm sure but um, I, I wouldn't like it and I wouldn't really get a larger size anyway because I mean this is a small size trapeze and I already don't use it that often so I wouldn't get a bigger size but I do want to ask you guys back if you have the 2424 in the mini size or any other size leave your feedback down below for Jasmine and I because uh, I would like to know how you feel about it and whether you thought it was a good um, good purchase and also uh, maybe just tell us very briefly what other bags you have because I think that makes a lot of difference in terms of you know the sequence of which bag you end up adding into your collection I feel like I wouldn't really buy the 2424 as my first 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 non-quota bag Serene and Lux may I ask what size do you wear on the Chanel and Maj two of my Maj jackets and they're both size one yeah, they go by one, two, three, four. So I'm a size one. This is one that I bought um, at the store. But if you guys don't have Maj or if you just want to shop online, I highly recommend Farfetch. Uh, this is where I got this one on Farfetch. And of course, you can use my... Um, oh, I think my discount code would have been expired by now. But uh, do wait a little while because I am collaborating with them again in April early April so uh, just stay tuned because I will have another really amazing discount code for you guys. I have one pair of jeans and one um, leather trouser from Maj and they're both size 36. For Chanel it depends on if it's a uh, current Chanel or um, Karl Lagerfeld Chanel because I do own two vintage jackets from Chanel 2010 and 2014 so it's been like you know it's to the Carl era and those jackets are size French 36. Keep in mind that Chanel jackets especially the older jackets they fit quite small especially for the arm or under arm area like the armpit area so I would definitely uh, just be careful about sizing if you were to buy an older jacket. For current Chanel jackets, the ones that are right now in the stores, I definitely can fit a 34 but I think Chanel jackets are very um, like their sizing is kind of all over the place because it depends on the cutting. If it's a more fitted cut, I sh I'm sure I can go up to even a 38. 
but if it's an oversized cut then for sure 34 is my only size because uh, their oversized ones are really large so I would say for Chanel I'm between a 34 to a 38 even anyway it's best to try them on I feel like with Maj because it is sort of like a boutique brand it's it's not like it's not like very high-end ready to wear their clothes are more mainstream therefore the cutting is a little bit more flexible so it, it's more for like the general population and they don't cut for like super super skinny models therefore for me um usually i just go with my true to size for for fromage i just go with um usually the smallest key cabes 129 what are your next specs for the Next three quarter bags. Oh my gosh, you guys are so interested in that, huh? Okay, I'll try. Um, Kelly 25, Cellier. Any neutral colors at the moment? Because I, I can't think of any other colors for sure. Um, Kelly Mini. Any color, especially a vibrant color. Like for me, Rouge de Coeur would be a great color. Or any of the magenta colors that would be amazing um a bright pink which is sort of like magenta or an exotic mini kelly that would be amazing yeah so that's two third one yeah i will say constance yeah constance 18 i will say constance 18 um i would go with neutral color and hardware honestly hardware i'm open to all three hardware i'm not so hung up on hardware i'm more into the um the color of the leather and also depending on which leather color can also make a difference next question lily bay you are not scared of color transfer when you wear your gray classic flop on black coats actually i am i think i know why you're asking that because i did one time, I did one time wear my black coat and I did wear my classic flop, but it was just such a brief outing. It was literally uh, us going to the coffee shop and grabbing some pastries at the coffee shop for a special occasion and then we went home. So it was very, very brief. Aside from that, most of the time, I am very, very careful with my light color bags. I will generally just wear light color clothing or um, I try to more hold it by the straps or the handle versus on the body. I might take a picture with the bag on my body, but I'm not really constantly wearing it on my body when I do wear my light color bags. So don't fret. I am very careful with my bags. And yeah, that was literally the one time I wore that coat. And um, speaking of, it's also because all my winter coats are on the darker side and I am shopping for more lighter coats to add to my collection so that I can wear my light color bags more often. So um, that's the only reason why you probably saw that one Instagram post where I did that. Miss Annie Mally, what are your thoughts on HRH Collections designer bag rent video? Oh, okay. I did not watch her video. Um, I I used to watch some of her videos because I thought um, some of her um, bag selections are very, very unique and very special. But I will say um, the, <laughs> the way she expresses herself, like the words that she chooses to use or just the way she expresses is a little, a little excessive for me sometimes. So I don't watch it all the time so i haven't watched any of her recent videos i'm not sure which one you're referring to but yeah i don't really mind or care actually how she does her videos or what my thoughts are i'm not sure what you mean by that do you mean like her collection what my thoughts are because i i do like her selection of bags i think each person has their own personality and their their bags and the choices of things that they choose do match them, right? Uh, it doesn't mean that it's for everyone, but it just means that um, it's their style. And so in general, I, I will say in general, I don't mind her style. I think it suits her. I'm not so sure what you mean by her rant video though. <laughs> I'll have to watch it before I get back to you. Cat. We should do a meetup in Seattle. Yes, babe, yes. I'm so glad. And if you guys haven't heard, my co-host and good friend Kat, 
she is planning uh it's not def definitive yet she is planning for a trip a uh, family trip to the states and oh my gosh i would love would love 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 to meet you a second time and this time you know we actually know each other much better uh, i would love to meet you in seattle i hope that i will be free i really 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 hope that it um happens and i'll do everything i can to drive down to seattle to meet you i hope that the borders and everything will be easing up i, I think it's sort of easing up supposedly but it can always change right so uh, yeah let's do it babe let's do it <laughs> let's let's at least like vlog it like vlog some parts of it at least right it would be so fun christina tao how is your h journey going so far you guys are so sweet and concerned about my journey thank you so much i do have my moments of like impatience and then and then just sort of patience and and like just chilling out when i am more calm and collected i i just sort of chill right i just sort of tell myself that if it's meant to happen and when it's meant to happen it will happen so um it's going well i guess because like i said uh, it's it's not like i never got any bags and i'm sure uh it will happen like for the quota bags for sure uh it's just a matter of when and also in terms of like just in general shopping, I am trying really hard to do as naturally as possible to really just buy things that I actually use, which I have been. I think the only things that I don't use as much is I already mentioned in my least used video is my big shop. So yeah, I will keep you guys posted. I promise. I promise. Vivi Star, best H piece to start the Hermes journey. Okay. Um... I know it sounds like I'm repeating myself, but honestly, the best piece to start your Hermes journey is things that you actually will use. So it can be anything. I started off with the leather bracelet. So I started off with this one and I love this piece so much. I feel like it's not an everyday piece, of course, but whenever I do want an edgy look and I want uh, a bracelet, this bracelet is i love so much because they go down to t1 size and otherwise i wouldn't have ever bought this because my wrists are so small that most bracelets are floating on my arm so this was my first piece at hermes but i will say a lot of their things are great starter pieces their scarves especially the 90 centimeter scarf i highly recommend that size I wear it so many different ways. I have a video showing you all the different ways I wear. I even wear it as a top, which is one of my favorite ways, actually. I personally love their blanket because I use mine all the time. Throughout winter, I'm still using it because it's still kind of chilly at night. Um, I think their hats are amazing, but if you're not a hat person, then that's not for you, right? I think their shoes are amazing. Um loafers especially i find that they do great loafers jewelry is a great place but jewelry can add up very very fast so it depends on how long um typically your store does offer bags if it's very very long like if it's at least a year then i would pace myself right i wouldn't buy like a very 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 expensive jewelry piece and that's already like the quota bag money so i i would just sort of pace it or depending on what quarter bag I'm trying to achieve some quarter bags have a higher spend ratio therefore I could use my more expensive piece so you, you can be strategic but also still buy things that are really things that you see yourself using and that you will um actually use right away because that is one mistake that I do sometimes is that oh I think about when I can use that item therefore I buy it that kind of justification but I think the best best way is to literally buy the thing that you need to use right now like the, you can't wait to open it and just and start using that's the best best way because otherwise it can be in storage for a while and sometimes you just forget and you don't use those things oh the next question is by my little nephew my little baby well he's not so baby anymore he's three and a half well he's oh he's almost turning four he's turning four this june anyway his question is kuma 
Can I ask if you have a vacuum at home? Yamo Dyson, Yamo Hoover. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Obviously, he didn't type it. Um, obviously, my sister in law typed it, but I loved seeing this question. When I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so warm and fuzzy inside because I love the fact that. Um, <laughs> I love him. I just, he's my favorite little human. So Caden, to answer you, and I will answer it in Chinese since uh, he is fluent in Cantonese. Caden, baby, ah, my, my, my. Caden, 哥哥啦，而家 Caden 哥哥啊，我有我哋屋企系有吸尘机嘅，但系我哋冇 Hoover 吸尘机，我哋有 Dyson 吸尘机。Hoover， 你都識，你真係好叻喎 ，B B。Kaden 啊，不如下次姑媽嚟你屋企咧，你誒、um, show 俾我睇你個 Hoover 吸塵機係點嘅，好冇？不過記得每次玩完吸塵機或者用完吸塵機或者玩具咧，都要執翻好佢喎。咁先係一個好榜樣俾妹妹啊嘛，係咪？所以誒，係、um, 啦，多謝你呢個問題喎、哦，誒、um,。係啊，我哋冇 Hoover， 但係有 Dyson， 我仲有 Dyson 嘅誒、嗯、卷髮卷髮機，係咪咁講啊 ？Kaden 啊，等我同你介紹我個 Dyson 嘅風筒，呢、這個其實係可以做風筒，同埋又可以卷髮嘅，係咪好犀利咧？你只要將呢啲駁上去，然後就可以一係就吹頭，一係就卷髮。嗱，譬如我而家咁啦，姑媽擺咗呢、這個。咁就可以吹頭噶啦，嗱，等姑媽吹俾你睇下，係咁樣開關嘅，係咪好犀利啊 ，Kaden？ 係咪啊？係咪好神奇啊？下次你過嚟咧，姑媽教你點用下。我哋而家試下卷髮好冇？我哋一齊卷髮。咁而家薄接咗呢個啦，咁我可以攞一執頭髮，然後咧。然後佢就自己卷噶啦，睇下幾犀利，幾犀利係咪 ？Kaden， 咁就卷咗啦，你睇下，卷得幾靚。下次咧 ，Kaden 你過嚟玩咧，姑媽就同你介紹我嘅誒、呃、卷髮。機同埋又可以做風筒嘅，好唔好？好多謝你問我呢個問題喎 ，Kaden， 姑媽好開心，姑媽 loves you。Okay， next question by Eileen 393. Love the way you style your hair. Would you consider doing a video on how you styled it? You know, it comes down to my Dyson, which my nephew just asked me. Um, it's my Dyson Airwrap. I use my Dyson Airwrap on my hair ever since I got it last year on my birthday. It's the best splurge and investment that I have ever made in my life. And the way I style my hair is um, is very simple. I only style it once for every few days. And so depending on when I styled it, my curl can、uh, be more tight or fall more. So. This is freshly styled yesterday, and yesterday night, yes, I actually sleep with my hair、uh, curled, and I just leave it like that curled for several days since I don't wash my hair every day. So sometimes you'll see that my curl has fallen a lot more, and that's probably a third day hair. So basically, what I do is I、uh, wash my hair at night. And I'll just blow dry it to like ninety percent dry, pretty dry actually. And then I will use the air wrap and I use the tight curler, and I curl all my hair and I leave it curled super tight because I go to sleep like that. I just leave it super tight. I don't even brush it. And so by the next morning, I would still have these pretty tight curls. And all I need to do is just sort of、uh, comb the top. And then the bottom, I just hand comb it. And sometimes, if it's still too curled, I would spray some、um, leave-in conditioner and just kind of like just just make it a little less curled on the bottom. You see, so、um, I've been using my Dyson since then, and I haven't I haven't even touched my my regular curler in in over. Nine months now because I bought it in July last year, and I highly recommend it. I just 
I love how the Dyson gives me volume for my hair and it's always so different like every time you see my hair on video it's so different because it just depends on how it how I've slept through the the, the night and also uh, how curled I curled it how tight I curled it and um, sometimes I spend more time on curling my hair and and it really is super tight therefore that can stay even longer like it will last several days and still be curly before I wash it so yeah I I just love it uh will I do a video are you guys really that interested because I feel like everyone will have a different experience with their air wrap because it depends on your hair texture it depends on the settings you use and depends on when you wash your hair because I don't wash my hair every day like I said I highly recommend the air wrap I love it best investment ever even just the blow drying um with the dyson even though it's just the hair curler one i just oh i love it i can't ever go back to a non-dyson and i totally understand why my nephew well actually i don't understand why he's so into dyson because he's been into dyson since or any vacuums or hair dryer since he was like a little like a few month old baby he was always mesmerized by that noise it's so funny he's so funny i love him next question hi amy do you think we should keep buying things from chanel every season to keep a relationship with the sa even beauty items if not handbags this is really tricky because yes and no i will say that i on average i i tend to um always have bought something at every single season because I genu genuinely love the brand and I always can find something to buy and therefore I always ended up buying something whether it's a costume jewelry, a little card holder or an actual bag or some other accessories um, I always end up buying something but that is not to say that you have to do that I don't believe in having to do that just like how uh, I wouldn't do that with Hermes I just ended up doing it because I always find something but if I didn't find anything I wouldn't force myself to buy it and I know that sometimes we still do it inadvertently like we just don't even know that we're doing it but I don't intentionally do that if that makes sense so I wouldn't recommend it I would say buy what you will use or what you see yourself using and like that you cannot wait to unbox and use right away because that is the best way possible um so yeah that's why i say it's kind of tricky it's yes and no but it just turned out that way for me and um has there been any time where i didn't buy anything at elmas no but um but that's because every time I do find something to buy. So um, at Chanel, though, however, I I do you know I do go in often. In the past, I do go in often, and sometimes I just try on things, and I just I don't come out with anything because I just didn't like anything. But on average, every season I do end up buying something. This last series of questions was from a follow up um, from my last Q and A. Uh, this person, his his or her name is P. I'd love to ask you all these questions. You said that you wanted to focus more on ready to wear this year. Other than Hermes and Chanel and Celine, are there any other brands you'd like to get from? Yes, I am looking to buy more. I, I said earlier, I'm looking to buy more winter jackets or actually not winter because we are getting into spring, but I still get cold. So I still need wool jackets. I just need thinner wool jackets. So I'm definitely looking into brands such as Max Mara, uh, 12 Stories, um Balmain and self-portrait are always on my radar anyway so if they have something new that i like i will consider it what other brands am i into now um at the moment those are the ones that i can think of because um like i said i just buy what i need so right now i need more wool jackets wool coats that are on the thinner side second question i feel like you would have gotten the Oran sandals and Kelly belt by now would you get them in the future um so yeah I haven't gotten those two items the Oran sandals I mentioned earlier that they just don't work for me maybe it's because I haven't tried a version where the leather is very soft because for some reason every version that I've tried and I haven't tried that many because they don't really have my size often I think I'm a size 37 and a half or 38 they just don't really have my size they're always sold out 
and if they have my size it's not in a color that I liked but so yeah the time that I tried in a white color and I, I think it was a white or a yellow and um, it just felt very stiff and very <clears throat> flat and so I didn't like it I just I couldn't walk in them they were uncomfortable with the Kelly belt I have nothing against the Kelly belt I actually really like it but it's just that I already have so many Chanel belts uh, well not many I have three which I prefer wearing I prefer styling my outfits with my Chanel belts and I do have one Hermes belt that I bought like eons ago and so those are already enough for me to style every outfit that is not to say that I will never buy the Kelly belt maybe one day I'll just be like have nothing else to buy and I think about the Kelly and I want to try it on then I might get it but um yeah that is why and uh, perhaps perhaps I will you know if I do um come across a really comfortable pair of Orans maybe they change the leather I don't know then um then maybe it will work out her th third question, did you only get one piece of Hermes fashion jewelry because fashion jewelry may not count as pre-spent? Oh, no, that's not the reason. I actually did buy another piece of fashion jewelry. It's the Pop H necklace. I bought it as a gift. You guys never saw it because I never revealed it. Never even thought about that, actually. Um, the fact that they don't count. I just buy what I need, like I said. And to be honest, in terms of their other fashion jewelry aside from their bracelet leather bracelets all their earrings and like necklaces stuff like that they're not as attractive to me because you guys know i'm into chanel and i love their aesthetic they do costume jewelry so so well i'm always attracted to at least one piece every season and therefore for me my preference is to buy chanel ones because they are really what I see myself wearing. Number four, would you say one of the reasons why you've been spending much more on luxury items these past years is because you've been making more money through YouTube? Does your YouTube income cover a good portion of the amount that you spend on them? Interesting. Okay, so I did touch on um, the one of the questions last time was that uh, whether I would ever become a full-time YouTuber and of course I would love to but I also explained how it's really not easy uh, so to answer your question is it because I make more through YouTube that I spend more on luxury fashion um uh, no um yes and no again it's so hard to answer this question because yes because doing youtube has really opened my eyes um about all the possibility of luxury items that i can get obviously when i started doing youtube i also watch and, and consume more youtube content therefore i'm always in the know in a way like i always know what's more in and and what people are buying and not just for bags but also in luxury everything in general so my exposure to what the possibilities and opportunities out there is so much bigger and therefore I just started getting more interested into buying different things but does it mean that because I'm earning some income through YouTube that I'm buying more not necessarily it's just that I know there's more things to buy now whereas I used to not really know that much and I'm not really that adventurous to um, venture out to different brands that I never tried um, but I will say it does help because can you just imagine yourself too like you have your regular job but if you also do a side hustle because essentially YouTube for anybody I think is a side hustle unless it's their permanent only job um, that it just increases your income in general right it makes total sense right it's just extra income and therefore you just end up with more spending power just because you do so in a sense it does help but it doesn't mean that I'm buying more just because of that. Also, just me noticing that buying luxury versus buying um, high street sometimes, depending on the item, right? Like if it's an accessory that you end up wearing the same of every time, say like a cap, right? If you buy a regular, you might buy like 10 different caps from say Zara or whatever, Mango, Uniqlo, whatever but you won't love them so much like you'll just wear them because you have them versus buying one Chanel cap or one Hermes cap or you know what I mean like you end up loving the actual one even though they cost like 10 times 20 times more you end up loving it and feeling so good about wearing that one versus all the 
just the high street ones or even boutique ones sometimes. And so depending on the item too, like I feel like I wouldn't really buy costume jewelry from high street ever again. I, I would only buy from Chanel or Hermes maybe. And so um, that, so that sort of also made me realize that um, instead of just buying all bags, I can also splurge on certain accessories or just different areas, different things that I can still get super high quality, high cost per wear. So it's really also about quality versus quantity at the end of the day. Do you think any of your friends in real life get jealous of you when you wear your luxury items around them or are jealous on your YouTube success and income? Um, I don't know because if they are, I'm not sure, like I can't read their mind and honestly speaking, if my best of friends feel that way, I, I think I wouldn't consider them to be my best of friends and honestly, you don't really need a ton of friends, you just need a handful of friends that are really, really great friends. So I would say probably not. I think like my best friends are genuinely happy for me uh, and I feel like my family um, is genuinely happy for me therefore yeah otherwise I wouldn't consider them friends and I honestly can care less whether you you are my friend or not like I I I feel like to be a friend is a privilege and if you are not uh, supportive then you, we don't have to be friends so no I I think no, I wouldn't um, think that they're jealous at all. I don't think. Um, number six, which is your last question. How did you, how did you or your husband meet? Please share your love story. <laughs> oh, that is cute. Um, we met through a common friend. Uh, actually, it's a common friend of my brother's. It's actually, it's my f brother's friend's friend. My brother's friend invited him to the new year's eve uh, party like dinner and she also knew me like my brother's friend also knew me and said oh why don't you tell your sister to come too so that's why i was like oh I had nothing to do because i i lived i i just moved to vancouver not too long ago and so i didn't really know a lot of people so um i said yeah sure i'll go and so that's how we met because they were a mutual friend i mean the friends his, I mean, my brother's friend's mutual friend is my husband. And so that's how we met because he literally sat across from me and that's how we met. Also at the time I lived in uh, Richmond and he works in Richmond. Therefore, um, he pretty much tried to <laughs> meet up with me so often because it was so close to where he used to work. Anyway, thank you all so much for all your question. If you're new to my channel, do consider subscribing. I would love to have you back. You can also support me further by becoming a channel member where you get more exclusive content. Thank you all again for watching and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.